Hello, greetings, and welcome to another episode of the Pooter Tutor. In this episode, I will be demonstrating how to properly and appropriately set up mic sensitivity and adjust for recording devices. I'll also be showing you and demonstrating how to use a free program, completely open source, known as Audacity. You might have seen this strange icon on my desktop. Well, that's the appropriate program. Or the one in mention. Yes, the one in... I'm going to need you to load up Firefox and, as always, type in Audacity. Once you've searched for it, click the first thing that pops up, and you'll be greeted with this page. I usually download the beta. I found it to be quite stable, especially on Windows Vista and Windows 7. If you're using Windows XP, I highly suggest you actually just stick to the original program. And if you find the 1.3.13 beta to be a little on the unstable side, then yes, please do feel free to default back to this program. As you can see, I've already downloaded it, and I feel the installation for this program is simple enough not to warrant another explanation. Before you actually boot into Audacity, if you're running on Windows 7 or Windows Vista, go down to the search bar here, right-click the little speaker icon, and click Recording Devices. You'll be presented with a window similar to mine, depending on the number of mics you have. Find the mic that you're commonly using, and for most people, they're only using one mic, so they'll click that. Just double-click it. You'll be presented with another window. You don't really have to worry about this. Um, Make sure it's either 4.4 or 4.8. You don't really want to be using two channel or anything above one channel because most mics don't have stereo support. After that, go into levels and make sure this is set to a mount that you find acceptable. This is usually between 70 and 100% if it's a non-headphone mic. If it's headphone, if it's a headphone mic or um, one mounted onto your chest perhaps, you'd want to keep it between 20% or uh, 20 and 50, sometimes even 65 or as high as 70, depending on the quality of the microphone. Thanks to a handy dandy virtual machine, I can actually demonstrate how to do this within Windows XP as well. In XP, you're going to look for a similar icon, it's the speaker icon near the clock, and hit Adjust Audio Properties. Once in here, look for Audio and Sound Recording. Again, pick your appropriate mic device. Normally this is already selected, and as I stated previously, you only have one mic device. Instead of clicking anything else, you're going to hit volume and simply make sure that mic is set to full. On Windows XP, it's normally between 50% and you can judge appropriately or full. Anything below and they are not going to be able to hear you. Obviously, adjust appropriately depending on how you sound in Audacity. Once you're done tinkering around with your audio settings, just click the shortcut that should have been placed on your desktop and boot up Audacity for the first time. The 1.2 version looks slightly different, but not different enough to again warrant me producing another part of this video to go into its explanation. And the usage of it as is, is pretty simple. One thing you need to actually look through and make sure is set appropriately are the mic settings. Well, everything but sensitivity. Just go into preferences underneath edit and make sure under recording device the mic you set in your audio settings is selected and that one channel selected. Then go ahead and hit OK and then hit record to test and see how you sound. Hit play and feel free to mess about in this program. If you'd like more tutorials involving Audacity, please do let me know. I'll produce a few more demonstrating the more advanced and less simple to simply figure out on your own features such as repair, repeat, the high and low pass filters, the pitch change and audio change I feel is simple, but they're funny enough to mention anyway. Anyway, this has been an ep another episode of the Pooter Tutor. Please uh, do enjoy, and as always, enjoy your life. And I can